Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Friday, October 8th, 2021. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Ladies and gentlemen, it is close enough for me to officially say it is the weekend. But first, we have some news to share, so let's get into it, shall we? Yesterday morning, County Executive Pittman did a Zoom call with school bus drivers. It was designed to show solidarity, I suppose, even though he has no direct control over them or their contracted employers. Most of the half-hour call was drivers that were upset with wages. One said $32 an hour was what others are paying. They talked about crowded buses, drivers, notifications of COVID cases, which are not happening, random decertifications, and a few other issues, most of which the county executive simply had to say he did not know or that it was not under his purview. He did say hallelujah to Arlotto's plan, which we told you about yesterday, but Arlotto has said that it's not a fast fix as there still is a shortage of drivers. We did learn yesterday that in order to pay these raises and bonuses, the contracts with the bus companies will need to be renegotiated to include that $5 per hour increase. This seems like a paperwork nightmare to me, and that will probably send a couple auditors over the edge. Until it is resolved, and it won't be resolved anytime real soon, buses are still canceled, buses are still delayed, and you still need to check your route before you send anyone to school. And once again, for the 25th time, maybe it's the 30th time, I don't know, aacps.org slash buses is where you want to go to do that. And that is updated every 60 seconds now. So whenever you check it, it is going to be a most current situation. Some sad news on a few fronts. And typically we shy away from deaths and obituaries and that type of things. But these are really an exception. The city of Annapolis lost a police officer. Lieutenant Brian Della, or just Brian, as he often insisted on being called, died suddenly earlier this week. He was a 28-year veteran of the department and worked in practically every division. A huge community policing cheerleader, and he actually started the fishing camp for disadvantaged kids in the city. Chief Jackson did say that the department is grieving the loss, and he was an outstanding officer. This was not a line-of-duty death, but it is very sad nonetheless. Della was 54. And over at historic Annapolis, Carrie Kewitt, the longtime vice president, passed away after a brief illness on October 1st. She was charged with managing membership, communications, events, and development for the organization that really keeps our city's history alive. She spent 21 years with historic Annapolis, and in a statement, Robert Clark, who is the CEO, said that Kewitt was respected for her selflessness and kindness, and that her contributions and her legacy of professionalism and compassion will live on at historic Annapolis. Kewitt was only 49. Earlier this week, the Board of Public Works for the state of Maryland approved a contract for $54.9 million to renovate six restrooms at BWI in the B, C, and D concourses. And when they are done with that, I think I'm going to go book an American Airlines flight somewhere just so I can get into B, C, and D concourses and check them out. Because personally, I've never been in a $9 million bathroom before. Hey, are you associated with a 501c3 nonprofit in Annapolis, Arnold, Edgewater, Davidsonville, or Crownsville? The Annapolis Rotary has some cash, and they want to give away the proceeds from the Crab Feast in August. And the deadline to apply is Sunday. So you want to go to annapolisrotary.org and apply and get some of that crabby money. And as we begin to wrap it up for the week, here are some thoughts for some things that you may want to consider doing this weekend. The Annapolis Power Boat Show, as I mentioned, is in town through Sunday, and these shows never disappoint. I was there yesterday and had my eye on a nice new Hinkley, but eh, my wallet had its eye on a stand-up paddleboard. But they do have everything in between, and there are some amazing boats and gear there as well. I actually saw a Boston Whaler with four 600-horsepower V12 outboard engines on it. Unreal. Tickets for that at AnnapolisBoatShows.com. Saturday at 3.30 p.m., it is the Navy SMU game, and you can snag tickets at NavySports.com. And 
Fingers are crossed that the mids have turned their season around and can get another win. We will have coverage of that game as well. And on Sunday, up at the Annapolis Town Center, there is a benefit concert for the people that were victims of the tornado back in September. It's called A Night Out on the Town and features the Reagan years, different DJs, food trucks, mobile wine and cocktail bars, a silent disco, which really is a blast and a whole lot of fun. Tickets are $25 per person, $80 if you want to roll VIP. Kids under 12 are free, but you can't just drop them off and leave them and go out on a date night or go see a movie or something like that. You do need to stay there with the kids. The corn maze is still going on up in Gambrels. The Ren Fest is still going on in Crownsville, both all weekend long. And we've got a great contest going on on our All Annapolis Facebook page for a bunch of shows at the Rams Head on stage. That's going to be running for actually probably a couple of weeks. So you want to get over there and check that out. Again, that's at All Annapolis on Facebook. Okay, that's it for the news. But a reminder that coming up tomorrow is our local business spotlight. And up this weekend, Aerovanti, a disruptor from Annapolis and also an exhibitor at the boat shows. Next weekend will be Dr. Josh Funk with Rehab to Perform. And we may have a bonus next week as well. And remember, on Monday, you're going to have a fake me doing the DNB. Be kind to her, but don't like her too much because I'll be back in a few days. As always, thank you for listening. And if you are somewhere where you can leave a rating or a review, please do. And make sure you let your friends, family, and colleagues all know to follow us. It really does help, and we would really appreciate it. A quick thank you to our four sponsors for today's Daily News Brief, Solar Energy Services, the Christy Neidhart Team of Northrop Realty, a Long and Foster Company, Rehab to Perform, and MacMedics. It's Friday, so I'll take this time just to say have a great weekend, stay safe, wash those hands, be kind to people, have patience because it is the boat shows, and we will see you on Monday. Now hang tight. George Young from DCMDVA Weather is here with your locally forecast weather report. All of that in just a bit. Are you an active adult or competitive athlete dealing with an injury keeping you from being at your best? Then Rehab to Perform is here to get you back to your full potential. R2P is a unique fitness-focused physical therapy company with four locations in Maryland. More like a training room and a personal training studio than a medical facility. R2P offers physical therapy for lower back pain, overuse injuries, post-surgery, muscle pulls, chronic pain, and more. R2P also offers rehabilitation for concussions and mild traumatic brain injuries. To learn more, visit rehab to perform.com. Another moving moment from Christy Neidhart of the Christy Neidhart team from Northrop Realty, a long and foster company. So maybe you've heard by now, the real estate market is hot. Actually, on fire might be a better term. And if you've been thinking about changing your address lately, but need to get your house market ready, here are a few simple tips to make your house shine. Clear the clutter. Basically making your house look like no one lives there when you still live there. Removing everything from kitchen and bathroom countertops is a great start. Give your house a deep clean. We're not just talking about a simple dust and vacuum. Think of this as detailing your house. Get into those hard-to-reach places, especially in the rooms buyers will focus on, like the kitchen and bathrooms, and power wash the outside walkways and decks. A fresh coat of paint can go a long way. Light gray and white trim is a safe choice. And finally, talk to us. The Christy Neidhart team can help you find things you might not notice around your house that can make a huge difference in your sale price. That's another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. To get in touch, call 410-295-6579 or visit kn-team.com. That's kn-team.com. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA weather and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Friday, October 8th. Last day of the work and school week for the Annapolis region and today through the weekend will seem very similar to the last several weather days. Look for highs today into early next week to be in the 70s each day for most locations across Anne Arundel County as a daily rain threat persists. Though rainfall amounts whenever and wherever rain does fall should be light. AM lows should be in the upper 50s to upper 60s each day. So while not fall time cool out, today through the weekend should remain fairly comfortable on the whole. So definitely plan to get out and about for some fun and festivities across the entire Mid-Atlantic region. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC, MDVA Weather. Make it a great weekend out there. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter each day along with our app at DC MDVA Weather from the Apple or Google App Stores so you can always stay weather informed. 
Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. With all the talk of energy resilience in the news recently, I'm surprised there's not more talk about solar plus batteries, especially since one third of all of our new residential solar projects include a battery backup system that provides instant energy security and peace of mind. And with incentives in place for battery backup, this investment is now more affordable than ever. With financing rates as low as 0.99% and plans offering 18 months same as cash, it's now easier than ever to go solar with no money down. Financing creates an easy bill swap scenario where you replace your electric bill with a loan payment, allowing you to build equity in your own personal energy supply. Don't wait for your next power outage to act. Contact us today at 410-923-6090 or visit us at solarsaves.net to learn more about solar with battery backup. Don't wait another minute. Sunshine's a wasted. Sunshine, sunshine. Nothing else can make me feel so fine. Have you ever had to wait to get an appointment at the Apple Store? Skip the wait and the line at the mall by visiting MacMedics in Severna Park or Lanham, where appointments are not necessary. MacMedics is an Apple-authorized premium service provider. MacMedics services all Apple devices, including broken iPhone screens and batteries, and all without an appointment. Most iPhone repairs are complete the same day and usually within a few hours. MacMedics is also an Apple authorized reseller and sell Apple products at the same price as the Apple Store. Visit MacMedics in Severna Park or Lanham for Apple authorized sales and service and shop local. Don't wait for help. Call MacMedics at 410 757 MAX, which is 410 757 6227. It's 410 757 6227. Or visit them online at MacMedics.com. You've been listening to the Ion Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, ionannapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Ion Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.